This video is brought to you by Storyblocks Audio. Yo, I'm back. I haven't really been away, but I have been very busy lately as I'm working on an Adobe After Effects course. So that's why Jenik took over and he actually did a great job and all the positive feedback that he got was really amazing. So he's definitely gonna do this more often. Thanks a lot for that, guys. So anyways, we are here today to have a look at Lil Skies and his new clip, Real Ties. The majority of you guys voted to recreate five effects from this music video, because that's what we do with Copycat Friday. However, we decided to only do three effects as there is more work to it than it seemed and we didn't want it to make an hour long tutorial. But there will be a bonus effect, so definitely make sure to stick around till the very end. Now, before before we can jump into Premiere Pro, we first need to make some rad video shots. So, how do I look? Like a moron. <laughs> are in the parking lot. Hopefully we won't be kicked away here as well. Because last week we were kicked away from a parking lot and we had to delete all of our clips. Oh, Leo. Alright guys, before we jump into the warmth inside, let's first thank our sponsor Storyblocks Audio. With Storyblocks Audio, you have access to an incredible library packed with music, sound effects and beats. For a single price per year, you can download unlimited items from your growing library. And with that, you can give sound design to your films, you can create your own beats and all that kind of beautiful stuff. For more information, make sure to click the first link in the description below. Ah, damn it! Ah, no! Oh, this is cold! Damn it! Let's go inside! Starting off with the first effect where I dance on the stairs, you want to place that on the second track in your timeline. We're going to make a static TV glitch like you can see right here. So from the point where you want the glitch to start, you add a cut in your clip. Go a second forward in time and add another cut. With the middle one selected, jump into the effects controls, opacity property and click on the pen tool. Draw a mask around yourself and you want to try to be precise. When you're done, click on the animation button for the mask path. To see it better where you draw your mask, you can disable the opacity property. You want to adjust your mask now for each frame that you move forward. It takes a little time, but the result will be pretty cool. Continue with your mask animation until you reach the end of your clip. When you're done, go back into the mask properties and check inverts. Now let's create that static and there are two ways to do it. The first one is super easy. You simply look for a stock clip of such TV static and drag that underneath your current clip in track 1. That's it. The other technique is where you create the static yourself. From the project window, create a new black video. Drag that onto track 1. From the effects library, search for the noise effect and drag it to the black video. Change the amount of the noise to 100%. And then make sure to deselect noise type and clipping. Then go back into the effects library and search for dust and scratches. Drag it to the black video as well. And here change the radius to 5 and the threshold to 0.3 and this will make that noise thicker. Finally, we're also going to look for the Venetian blinds and add that to the black video as well. Change the transition completion to 15%, the direction to 90 degrees, the width to 20, and the feather to 8. And this takes care of the horizontal lines, which are so typical for old CRT televisions. As the final touch, we are going to add some light leaks to it. And this one right here is a light leak, similar to the music video that we have created ourselves. You can just go ahead and download it from the description below. Then import that light leak and drag it to the top of your edit. From the opacity property, change the blending mode to linear dodge add. And that's it for the first effect. Music video effect number two, and that is this overlay effect that we are seeing right here. So take the shots you want to create this effect on and put it in your timeline. We're going to start off by color grading this clip. Open up the Lumetri panel and locate the color wheels. In the shadows, we are going to pump in some green. Don't be afraid to exaggerate here. For the midtones, do the opposite and add a lot of orange. And this will make the skin tones pop out. Then duplicate your clip by holding down the Alt key and dragging it to the track above. From the duplication, we are going to jump back into the Lumetri window and decrease the saturation all the way. Next, jump into the effects controls of that clip and scale it up to around 150. From the opacity, change the blending mode to overlay. For the final step, we are going to add a TV distortion to it all. Create an adjustment layer from the project window and drag that to the top of your edit. 
With it selected, go to the Opacity property and click on the Rectangle Mask tool. Then change the shape of the mask so that it covers a horizontal line on your screen. When you're done, move the mask to the top and start the animation for the mask path. Go further in time and move the mask to the bottom. We are now going to make it seem like the video got stretched within that mask. So I'm going to add the directional blur effect to that adjustment layer. Change the blur length to around 20. Finally, also add the transform effect to the adjustment layer and use that to scale up the effect. And that's it. Moving on to the last effect, or actually not, because there will be a bonus on the end, and that is this double sky effect right here. For this one, you do need to pay attention that you have enough room in the top of your shot and that the sky is even. So either you film at night when the sky is all dark, during an overcast day, or when the sky is all blue, but there can't be any clouds or lighting differences in the sky. Then place that shot on the bottom of your timeline and duplicate it to the track above. Then search for the flip in your effects library and drag both the horizontal and vertical flip to the duplicated clip. Then go into the opacity property and change it to 50% for a moment. And this allows you to see the clip underneath and push its position up to make the two skies match. You also want to push down the clip underneath. When they sit somehow in place, we are going to select the upper clip and from the opacity take the pen tool to draw a rough mask around the sky. Now you do want to go around any street light, trees and of course the subjects. When you are done, increase the feather of the mask to around 40. What we're now going to do is animate the position of the top clip. Now you can let it start from the high up and then bring it down towards the middle. Now you want to try to align your head to the middle of the frame. Then go to the end of the clip, where you move it back up. The keyframe in the middle should go smooth, or else the animation doesn't look good. So I'm going to right-click onto it, Temporal Interpolation, and then Bezier. Next up, do the same thing for the clip below. Start animation from the bottom, and then towards the middle, you overlap the two heads. And finally, you move it back down. Also here, Bezier that middle keyframe. You can now go ahead and increase the opacity back to 100 for the top clip. Then go to the beginning of your clip and start the animation for the mask path. Over time, you want to change it so that the street lights seem to come out of the other clip. You could have also shot this from a tripod and then you didn't need to animate the mask like this, but we are recreating it like in the clip from Little Skies, so animating that mask it is. When you come around to your head, simply cross it with the mask. You don't need to create any special shape here. And when you're done with that, just lean back and enjoy the results. And that brings us to the bonus effect, which is this vintage film distortion. This right here is a ton of work to make because of all the different layers and masks. So what we did was make an overlay clip of that. So that means that you can just simply download a 4K clip from the description below. Then drag that downloaded clip on the top of anything you'd like, and with it selected, jump into the opacity property, from which you want to change the blending mode to screen. And that's it! Now if you like, you can also mask out the film clip in the overlay, just as in a music video, but this is optional. The overlay looks pretty cool without the mask too. So that was it again for Copycat Friday. Let us know in the description below what we should recreate next week. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you Storyblocks Audio for the support. And as always, stay creative. I'm going to the office, office. because we're done with editing. Editing. And I'd be flossing. 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 Fla 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 and now comes the rap part. Beat. Yeah. Boom. 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 We're going boom. to the boom. office. Boom. Yeah. Boom. I'm gonna montage boom. everything. Yeah. Boom. Effects boom. here. Boom. There. 